I'd like to talk about a very simple concept in computer programming and it's probably going to be one of the easiest concepts that we'll, we'll encounter. Uh, the particular topic is program readability which roughly means just making sure that your code, that your program is, is readable and uh, you know who's reading this? Well other programmers and even you maybe two three weeks after you write the program right? The goal is so that other people can just kind of look through your code and get a feel for what it's doing without too much effort and and you know too much confusion but also let's say you create a program let's say you solve some homework problem and you want to revisit that code uh, two three weeks maybe even longer down the line right like sometimes I have programs that I want to revisit years after and the thing to recognize is that well how difficult is it for you to just maybe continue that program or to figure out what might have been wrong or what you could improve upon the point is that you're going to have to sift through that program somehow and at some point uh, I think you have to be aware that your programs should be written a certain way so that they're readable um, no matter at what point you come to revisit those programs Okay, that's probably beating it a little bit to death let's talk about program readability so we're, we're talking about comments in this particular section and uh, we're, we're discussing these ideas very early on before we even get a chance to tackle code for ourselves but uh, these principles um, I'm introducing them at this stage just to plant the seed really these principles are going to adhere throughout the course of our, our journey as programmers and most of my code samples if not all of them will have these very simple ideas kind of embedded throughout them and so I'd like to just kind of talk about them now, even though they are quite trivial. So comments in programming, it's a way to annotate code. And the cool thing about comments is that they're ignored by the compiler. The compiler says, oh, this is a comment? Sweet. I don't even care what's going on with that comment. I don't care what it says. I'm not even going to pay attention to it. It will just skip that comment. The comment then, I mean, you might question, like, what's the purpose of that comment then if the compiler just ignores it? Well, the purpose of that comment is for the programmer's eyes, right? It should describe what's going on, should describe your solution, the, the process, more formally known as the algorithm, right? Uh, that's a very important term, and I will just spell it out for you, A-L-G-O-R-I-T-H-M. The algorithm, which is just a sequence of steps, right? that indicate how you should perform some uh, solution meaning I mean, some, in, in some idea not even computer related like there's an algorithm for how you wake up in the morning and uh, the first step is I mean this is vague you, you, the first step is to just get out of bed and then you go walk to the bathroom and then you brush your teeth and then you uh, maybe fix up your hair a little bit and then you jump in the shower and each of those steps can also be broken down into smaller steps, right? So just to get up in bed, you can uh, open your eyes, and then you can uh, wipe out the crusties, and then you can, uh, you know, stretch a little bit, and then sit upright, and then bend your arm a certain angle, and so forth and so forth. All this boils down to is just a sequence of steps to solve some problem, and that really is the essence of an algorithm, okay? So... Alright, let's get back to the comments. Comments should really just describe your algorithm is the point that I was making. There are two types of comments in C++. The first one is the simplest. It's a single line comment and it is really triggered by this pair of forward slashes. Okay, This pair of forward slashes indicates to the compiler that you should ignore everything on the line after that pair of forward slashes. Okay, so uh, the statement this is a single line comment will be completely ignored by the compiler. However, if I have a line of code that comes after this line, if it's if I have another line of code, let's say here, saying something else, okay, then obviously there is no pair of forward slashes and so this is not actually a comment this is a real line of code and so this line here is completely ignored by the compiler and this is a regular line in our program okay very simple concept <coughs> and yes all right the next type of comment is uh, really answering this question of look man what if i really would like to go about explaining the process that's uh, occurring in this code here 
you mean to tell me that if I'd like to uh, just write out a maybe more than just one line, that I would have to do something like this, and I'll back up just a tiny bit to to emphasize this point. You mean to tell me I have to say like, oh, this is my comment, blah 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 blah, and then here's the next sentence of that, and then this, and then this. So you mean to tell me if I want to write four sentences to describe what my code is doing, that I'd have to line them up with these slashes? You can. I mean. Sometimes that's a really good way of doing it, but there's an alternative in, in this language, uh, specifically for, for these m multiple lines, so what they're, well, I guess, more formally known as multi line comments. Right? So, multi line comment, um, multiple lines of comments, ultimately. Alright, so for a multi line comment, we have two pairs of characters, two sequences. Okay, so we have the first one, which is the opening sequence. This indicates that, oh, hey, compiler, look, man, we are going to write a lot of words here. Maybe not, but in any case, you should ignore everything after this opening sequence and before this closing sequence. So ultimately, you should ignore everything within that sequence or those sequences. Okay, and I'll show you an example of that. So here we go. In bold, you see the sequences, right? This is the opening, and this is the closing. Now, I must admit, these are actually quite strange to look at and strange to even type. You really just get accustomed to this asterisk slash thing by using it, okay? By using it in your programs. And these asterisks are in the, are, I guess, on the inside of those slashes is one way to see it uh, because this is slash asterisk and this is asterisk slash so again I mean there's no real there's no easy way to remember this it's just get practicing and kind of it'll become second nature but the point is that the compiler will ignore all of this text here it will be considered a multi-line comment hopefully that's clear the rule and uh, this is the rule that is the purpose of this discussion Use comments often in your code, because other people will be able to read your code that much easier, and also you'll be able to come back to your code and get a feel for what's going on. Right? So use comments often to describe what your code is doing, but of course that doesn't imply that every single line should have a comment, and you should write books and books and books within your one little program, right? I mean, you have to use your judgment here, and the best practice is to just well, well, place comments above the line that they describe, and that's just how you write it. But also, don't dis don't use comments for trivial tasks. Okay, so if you're just printing out, like for example, if you're printing out, see out, hello, then you don't have to say, oh, I am printing, hello. I mean, that is pretty much understood by this simple line here. However, if I have a an algorithm that I've created, a solution, a sequence of steps that might need some elaboration or, or some explanation, then I can include comments there. But for something trivial, there's really no need. It's kind of self-explanatory. So here are some examples. And let's say we were creating a program to compute x squared. And uh, some of this, the code that I'll show you is, uh, in this video is going to go over your head a little bit because we haven't spoken about a lot of these constructs yet. But again, this is just planting the seed in terms of how to properly comment and, and so forth in, in regards to your code. We were talking about the algorithms and, and this idea of a sequence of steps to solve some problem. And so really good commenting allows you to look at the comments and get a feel for what this program does. And I don't even need the code ultimately, right? I, c I can just read this and get a feel for what's going on. Ask the user for some number. You can make sure, like, do some validation on it to make sure that it is a number. And we'll see asserts later time. And then compute x times x. And we have to talk about this little thing here, which is the ar arithmetic operator for multiplication. And uh, store it in some variable, print the result. All of this stuff will become much clearer later on, but notice this multi-line. Well, actually this is just a, a chain of single line comments, and you now know how to maybe transform this into a multi-line comment. 
the bad version is to not have any comments whatsoever right so I see something like this and yeah sure these well they will become very simple statements to us but I look at this and I might say okay well I can kind of piece out what's going around or what's going on here but I really shouldn't have to do that right and and this code is uh, the translation of this algorithm so I like this this will need this but I'd very much so like to be able to just read the comments and, and understand what the codes doing as opposed to piecing through the code myself that's commenting another idea in program readability another idea in making your programs so much easier to look at and, and read and, and just you know walk through is this idea of indentation and I'll explain it just by example so when we talk about indentation we are talking about this idea of moving your code over from this left kind of alignment here right so notice and I'll erase this just to, to stress this point notice that the if thing here which we don't even know what this means and we will I promise this is pushed over and really the way that uh, this was done is just by hitting the tab key so the tab key will move everything over just a few spaces and so then all of this is in the same line and this is also tabbed over and you'll get a feel for when to tab and when not to tab but this is just an early look at some uh, cleanly written code so you have this line here and then everything is tabbed to a new kind of margin and notice that this C out here is within that margin and then internally this is another margin and so forth you don't have to understand what this code is doing just yet understand this idea of tabbing and that this is not what your code should look like and again you can always just come back to this video when we get to more advanced topics and it'll make a whole lot more sense All right. bad is well just not using indentation and yeah this code is just really messy to look at and I have to you know get a feel for like what's going on and there are extra spaces and all of that stuff here it's just very uh, unreadable and that's that's bad alright so very quick very simple ideas here on commenting and code indentation but ultra important and this is possibly a little bit early in the d in our exploration but it's essential to just kind of be aware of these two things and why we're making such a point to indent and comment our code all right i'll see you guys in the next video